Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from radical equations. Here we are going to calculate real solutions only. So let's get started by writing x cannot be 5 and negative 15. Denominator cannot be 0. Now I will be writing one property from radicals square root a over b. We can write square root a divided by square root b. Let's apply. So I will be writing square root 60 plus 4x. Let us take 4 common. So in bracket 15 plus x divided by square root 5 minus x whole cube plus square root 4 times in bracket 5 minus x divided by square root 15 plus x whole cube. Right hand side is 17 over 16. Now this 4 will come out as 2. So I will be writing 2 times square root 15 plus x over square root 5 minus x whole cube plus 2 times square root 5 minus x over square root 15 plus x whole cube. Right hand side is 17 over 16. Now I can divide both sides by 2. Let's divide. So square root 15 plus x divided by square root 5 minus x whole cube plus square root 5 minus x divided by square root 15 plus x whole cube and right hand side will be 17 over 32. Now I will use substitution. Square root 5 minus x. This I will consider a. And square root 15 plus x. I will consider b. So for real solutions, both must be greater than 0. Positive. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So 5 minus x will be a square. 15 plus x will be b square. And if I will add both, I can write 20 equal to a square plus b square. This I will call my equation 1. Let's apply this substitution. So what I will get from here, I will write b over root 5 minus x. It is a. So a cube. So b over a cube plus a over b cube equal to 17 over 32. After taking LCM, a power 4 plus b power 4, this will be equal to 17 over 32 a cube p cube. And this I will call equation number 2. Now we have to solve this new system of equations. Let me write here a square plus b square equal to 20 and a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17 over 32 a cube b cube. Let's consider squaring here power 2 power 2. So I can write a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 2a square b square. This will be equal to 400. Now a power 4 plus b power 4 is here. So I can write 17 over 32 a cube b cube plus 2a square b square minus 400 equal to 0. Let us assume AB equal to T and multiply this equation by 32. 
सो आई विल बी राइटिंग सेवनटीन टी क्यूब प्लस सिक्सटी फोर टी स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी टू टाइम्स फोर वन टू एट जीरो जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई विल सॉल्व यूजिंग रेशनल रूट थ्योरम एंड सिंथेटिक डिवीजन मेथड सो आई नीड टू नो वट विल बी द एलिजिबल फैक्टर्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड लीडिंग कोफिशियंट सो आई कैन राइट हेयर प्लस माइनस वन प्लस माइनस टू प्लस माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस एट एंड सो ऑन एंड लीडिंग कोफिशियंट आई विल राइट प्लस माइनस वन एंड प्लस माइनस सेवनटीन वन विल सेटिस्फाई नो इट वोट एज ट्वेल्व इज बिग नंबर so let me apply t equal to 2 so 17 times let me write 17 times 8 plus 64 times 4 minus 12800 so this is 136 here it would be 256 no it won't if i will apply t equal to 4 also it won't because 12800 is big number Let us check for t equal to eight. So I will be writing seventeen times eight cube plus sixty four times sixty four minus twelve thousand eight hundred. I can write sixty four times two hundred. Now we can cancel sixty four or divide this by sixty four. So here it would be only eight left. Now this is one thirty six plus sixty four minus two hundred. So yes, two hundred minus two hundred. It is giving us RHS zero. That means t equal to eight is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. So let's write all the coefficients of cubic equation with base solution t equal to eight. So I will be writing here seventeen sixty four. Coefficient of t zero and constant it is negative twelve thousand eight hundred. Now, now leading coefficient seventeen would be as it is. So I will write seventeen eight times seventeen. It would be one thirty six sixty four plus one thirty six two hundred eight times two hundred. It would be one thousand six hundred. So this value will be one thousand six hundred eight times. Sixteen hundred. It will give us one two eight zero zero. So here we have coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will write seventeen t square plus two hundred t plus one thousand six hundred equal to zero. So base solution is confirmed. Let's find out the remaining two real solutions from this quadratic equation. So I will check only discriminant. so discriminant will be b square minus 4ac so 200 a square minus 4 times 17 times 1600 so a square of 200 it would be 40000 minus 68 times 1600 it would be 108800 now you can see this value will come out negative so it will generate complex solutions so we will write rejected so t equal to 8 will be accepted only what was t it was our substitution ab so i will write t equal to ab equal to 8 and our first equation was a square Plus b square equal to twenty. So from this equation, I can write b equal to eight over a, and this value I will apply here. So let me write a square plus b square. So I will be writing here sixty-four over a square equal to twenty. So a power four minus twenty a square. Plus sixty four equal to zero. This is one quadratic equation in a square. So let us apply quadratic formula. So I will be writing a square directly. 
माइनस बी सो ट्वेंटी प्लस माइनस अंडर दी रूट बी स्क्वायर सो फोर हंड्रेड माइनस फोर ए सी सो माइनस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए सो टू सो आई विल राइट ट्वेंटी प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट वन फोर्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो ए स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व ओवर टू ट्वेंटी प्लस माइनस ट्वेल्व ओवर टू सो आई कैन राइट ए स्क्वायर विल बी विथ प्लस साइन थर्टी टू ओवर टू विथ माइनस साइन एट ओवर टू सो ए स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एंड फोर सो आई कैन राइट फ्रॉम हेयर ए मस्ट बी इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस फोर एंड प्लस माइनस टू But condition on a was a should be positive. A was our substitution. A square root five minus x was a, so a must be positive. So we will reject these two minus sign. So accepted a would be two and four or four and two. Now. A equal to two and four. A was our substitution A square root five minus x. Or I can write A square was five minus x. So let us consider squaring here. Two square four, four square sixteen. Now let's replace A square by five minus x. So five minus x would be four and sixteen. Take away five from both sides, so minus x will be equal to four minus five negative one, sixteen minus five eleven. Multiply this equation by negative one, so x will be equal to one and negative eleven. Our final answer. Let us verify. So I will write check. Let me check first x equal to one. so here is our equation lhs square root 60 plus 4 times 1 64 divided by 5 minus 1 so 4 cube 64 plus square root 20 minus 4 16 over 15 plus 1 whole cube so i will write here 16 cube and this value is also cube so i will be writing here so here 64 and 64 only it will give us 1 so square root 1 plus here i will cancel 16 and i will write here power 2 so from this square root i will be writing 1 over 16 square with square root So it will give us one plus one over sixteen, which will be equal to seventeen over sixteen. It is our RHS. Let's check x equal to negative eleven minus eleven. So I will be writing LHS square root sixty. Let me write here sixty minus forty four over. 5 plus 11, so 16 whole cube plus square root 20 minus, so it will become minus times minus plus 44 plus 20, 64 divided by 15 minus 11, so 4 cube. Now 4 cube is 64, so here it is 1, so square root 1. Now 60 minus 44 is 16. So we can cancel this by, and we will write power two. So it will be left one over sixteen is square, which will be equal to one over sixteen plus one. So we can write one over sixteen plus sixteen over sixteen. So this will give us seventeen over sixteen, which is our RHS. Hence verified. So our final answer for this problem is x equal to one and x is equal to negative eleven. and this brings the end of the video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video
good luck take care of yourself